Hello, my friends. Welcome back. It is time for the morning mindset. It's time for you and me to get our minds aligned with the truth of God because that is where our hope comes from. That's where our encouragement comes from. And today, we're going to be focusing in our Mind War series on those times when you need encouragement. What should you do? What truths should you cling to from the scriptures? That's what we're going to talk about in just a moment. I want to remind you about our ministry to believers all around the world who are in need and who are eager to give toward those needs. It's called Not a Needy Person. You can find out more about it at notaneedyperson.org. It's very simple how it works. If you have a need, you're able to submit that need for consideration. And once that need is vetted, many people are able to give toward meeting that need in a tangible way. But if you're one who desires to meet a need, you desire to come alongside a brother and sister in Christ from around the world, you can do so through Not a Needy Person. So please check it out at notaneedyperson.org. All right, we are moving forward into this topic of encouragement. You know, the life that we live on this planet is one that is full of ups and downs, and we all have our share of encouragement and discouragement. And I am eager to help you this morning. Go to the scriptures and find truth that will sustain you, a truth that will lift your spirits when you're in those moments of discouragement. Let's look at 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 8 through 10. I love this passage. I've heard songs written about this passage. It's a great one to put your focus on during those times of discouragement. This is the Apostle Paul writing, and here's what he says. He says, we are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. Friends, think about the promise of this verse. Any circumstance that you face that is discouraging or afflicting or persecuting, or perplexed, confused, those situations are ones in which we have the opportunity to put our eyes on our God, who has overcome death for us through the death and resurrection of His Son. And in doing so, we are able to look at the only hope in this planet we really have, and that is that this life is not the end of the story. The circumstances that we face are not the end of the story. Because we have a God in heaven who has done everything necessary to put us into his family, to place us into his hand, and to sustain us through every circumstance of life. That's what Paul is getting at in this passage. No affliction, no crushing circumstance or confusing situation is ever going to put us in a place where we are outside the sustaining power of our God. So friends, when you need sustaining encouragement, come to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 8-10. through 10. Maybe you should write this on a 3 by 5 card or on a sticky note and put it in your car. Put it on your refrigerator. Place it someplace you will see it regularly and start committing this truth to memory. Let me read it again. When we are afflicted in every way, we are not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. Friends, Paul is telling us we have the life of Jesus in us in the midst of every difficult situation. I love how the phrase, but not, is repeated throughout that verse. No matter what it is we're facing, we are not going to be destroyed. We are not going to be pressed beyond God's plan for us. Friends, we have the opportunity to live in the strength that Jesus provides every day. And what's more, we have to promise that we can live in that way. Let's pray together about this issue. Lord God, thank you for giving us assurance and encouragement for those times when our hearts are our low and our life is in a difficult circumstance and we just need some place to look up to 
And here we see in 2 Corinthians 4, you do not forsake us. You do not allow the circumstances of life to crush us, to persecute us, to push us to a place beyond what we can endure with your help. And so, Lord God, we ask you to empower us with the life of Jesus. Cause him to live through us with strength, with hope, with encouragement, and with everything we need to overcome in the circumstances of life. You have promised, and you are faithful. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Let's pray together for world spiritual renewal. Lord God, we thank you that you are faithful to your people. You are a God who is in our lives, present and strong and uh, full of power on our behalf, Lord. And when we are discouraged, we look to you. When we are weak, you are strong. Lord, we ask you to be that strength for others in this world, to turn your eyes on those who are in need, those who are failing, those who have turned their hearts to other gods, Lord. We ask you to bring about transformation and renewal for the sake of your name. Lord, change the terrible circumstances we see all around us into good. Bring about glory for your name's sake in this world. Lord, we ask you to do this by your power and for your great name's sake. In Jesus' name.